Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time in the blue corner, filing out of Hammer Gym, an unbeaten fighter with one win and no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan McNally. And his opponent in the red corner, representing Renegade Gym, making his amateur debut this evening, Thomas Rocco Boutte. So we've got uh, Ryan McNally fighting out of Hammer in the, the blue corner. We've got Thomas Boutain fighting out of Renegade in the red corner. I mean, two brilliant gyms. They both look like two, two machines as well. Two absolute units are about to uh, throw some leather. Let's have a look. And no they... touch of gloves out of the hammer corner there. Yeah. The thing comes out and throws a, a leg kick early on. Big Ooh. punch from McNally early on. Yeah, he needs to be careful about throwing that, that leg kick without anything setting it up. I feel like every shot's big at the minute. Yeah, nice takedown there. Yeah, he catches the kick from McNally and Butain gets the, the takedown. He's working from the half guard at the moment. This is a position that he'll want to be in. If I know the guys at Renegade, they, they like to be on top on the ground, work that ground and pound and look for submissions. Interestingly, they're shouting from the hammer corner to keep tight, so that tells me they're just trying to hold him down rather than maybe try and reverse the position and look for a sweep, you know, try and stop the damage and maybe hope for a stand-up. But I would have thought you want to try and get the obviously get control and then work for someone to get up. He's created a bit of space there actually on the, on, on his back. Yeah, he is, yeah. Boutain looking for some uh, some ground and pound there. He's got Danny Khalid, who's the uh, the grappling coach at Renegade, in his corner shouting instructions to him. There's, there's not many better guys around to uh, to instruct you on your grappling than uh, than Danny, so... That's going to help him then, it, of having that having that guidance. And it's working so far. I mean, he, he's, he's not looking, advancing, but he's controlling. Yeah, he's looking very calm as well for a guy who's making his, uh, his amateur debut. He, Looks like he's done this many, many times before. That's what good repetitive rounds in the gym will do for you. It'll set you up for, for when you do make that uh, that big debut. But good strand body up here. from McNally as well. But yeah, really Boutain good. has reversed straight up against the cage and he's holding him against the cage now. He's he's got his arms around the back. I think he's just trying to take him back. Yeah, oh, yeah. lovely slam that was. That was beautiful. Just pure strength to. Uh, yeah, to take him off his feet and, uh, and put, him Mac down. Yeah, put McNally back on his back and he's straight into uh, side control here. Yeah, so he's throwing, throwing punches. He's, uh, he's, it feels like it's more control at the moment rather than damage. But he is past the legs. Is he gonna, what's he going to try and do? Is he going to try and... He looked for the north-south position there but uh, but he decided against it. Now he's looking like he wants to try and uh, get that left there, leg yeah. over and, and work his way into the mount. He maybe he needs to go for the neon belly approach rather than try and sweep over there. He's going to struggle with the room there as well because they're right up against the cage, which is why I think he couldn't get the north-south because the cage was in the way. Yeah, one thing you can see, look how tight his chest is to, to McNally's. He's not giving him any space to breathe, no. not giving him any escape routes. He's, I mean, he's, he's holding him down, he's landing shots, but they're more peppering shots at the minute. More, probably more of an annoyance rather than any kind of real damage. But this round at the minute is all about control for me. Yeah, definitely. He's, um, he's going back to that north-south again. Looking and confident in this position and, and he's worked that man beautifully. That's what the strikes do, those little peppering strikes that allow you to, to set up the transitions into positions oh, like really this now, the man. Then. I think he just needs to hold on now. He's got less than 10 seconds to go. He's not took a. He's been in, in a. Oh, that was after the bow. He's been in a bad position the whole round, but he's not been. He's not took a lot of damage. It's, it's up for. It's up to McNally now. He needs to make a change to change the way this fight's going. He'll be nervous as well about throwing anything too big and leaving himself exposed to another takedown after being on the bottom for the majority of that round. So that might just play in the back of his mind, but landing a nice little uh, switch yeah, body kick there. The same with kicks, and then he threw a kick. I mean. I'd be looking at punches f for me if I didn't want to be taken down. Because we all know you're on one leg, you're, you're at more risk of being put on your back. Nice leg yeah. kick there. He's not... F yeah, that was a really good leg kick. Yeah, but now he seems to be a bit gun-shy. I think what you said is right. He seems to be a bit wary of over-committing. He's fainting a little bit, see if he gets a reaction, but there was no reaction coming. Another nice leg kick. They're the biggest shots of the round so far, so they're like kicks. Absolutely, yeah. 
And then he's just out of range with that punch there. Yeah, he's just got to be careful about that because oh, uh, because he kick, threw man. that leg kick without really setting it up and that right hook just missed the chin. But pressure coming now from Nally's corner, shouting for pressure. They want to back him up against the fence and, uh, and look to unload on some strikes. But Thomas Bethane is really working on this, uh, this left leg here. You feel that Nally just needs to get going. He just seems hesitant to start. He's almost waiting for something to happen before he starts, but he needs to go first. There's no point waiting, you need to go first. They're very even on the feet. Yeah, they're both kind of throwing two strikes and backing up, throwing two strikes and backing up. It's uh, it, it's really interesting. Chest battle, both guys fainting, both guys landing the kicks. It's really interesting second round here. I think the, the biggest thing so far is the Bethane leg kicks. For me, that's what's the difference between the two at the minute. Yeah, he, they look... Oh, huge head kick. kick! And Bethane puts him down, and he's throwing the punch to try and get Very the Very heavy hands, yeah, and that is stopped. it! That head kick was huge! Referee stopped this contest at 1 minute 48 seconds of the second round. To the winner, via TKO, Thomas 